Hello, hello, it's Finn, and um, as you can see, I have my super dope ass werewolf like contacts in. Um, I wear a lot of contacts. I like contacts. I think they're super fucking rad, and so I'll probably have a few videos where I am switching out my eye color because I think contacts are cool. So, anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. Something that's been bothering me a whole lot for these uh, past few months, I would say April to really now, um, it hasn't really started to get better like until like like a couple weeks ago. Anyway, let me let me get into it. Um, problem I've been dealing with is HS. Um, it stands for one sec. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm kidding. Hydradenitis superactiva. Um and really what it is, HS, um, is a autoimmune disorder that causes boils. I would say I got my first boil when I was nine years old, and really what happens is, you know, you get a boil, it goes away. You get another boil, it goes away. You get another one and it goes away. But then you get the one that doesn't fucking go away. It just stays there and gets worse and it spreads and it calls its buddies over and you have five boils in your armpit just hanging out. I've gotten them on my face, I've gotten them in my groin area, I've gotten them on my tailbone, on my thighs, um, but I usually get them in my armpit and I have found from just talking to other people that it's usually the armpit where people are getting on these boils. Though it is not uncommon to see people that have boils, um, especially on their thighs. Anywhere where there's friction and there's sweat going on, you'll get boils. So how it starts is maybe you have an ingrown hair um, and this ingrown hair gets infected and there's bacteria in that area. Your body sends immune cells to the bacteria to kill it off and they just keep sending cells there. They just keep sending them fucking there. And um, it causes massive inflammation. And as this inflammation gets worse and worse and worse, you have scar tissue develop. And it's hard to the touch. It's very painful. And um, along with that scar tissue, you still have the boils developing. And so it's just, it's just a really awful situation to be in. You have drainage like all of the time. It's a lot of pus, some blood. Um, it will ruin your clothes, it'll, it'll just like dribble down your side, it's, it's really nasty. And on top of that, you can also get really, really bad infections, like just some nasty bugs. I've had so many antibiotics administered, like orally, that I have developed MRSA, which is methicillin resistant staph aureus, which, I mean, it's staph infection. It's the worst of the worst. When you hear people dying of, you know, infections in hospitals, it's usually staph infection. And so the way that the diagnosis of HS works is there's three stages. You have stage one where you might have a couple boils. They're pretty small. They probably go away. Um, they might reoccur, but they're not impairing really anything. Um, they could easily be you know, taken down with maybe a steroid shot or something like that. Then you have stage two, where you have sinuses that have developed. And so your boils, like you'll have a boil right here and then a boil right here, and if you press down in this boil, you have stuff that comes out of this one. It's, mm, it sucks. You also have a lot of scar tissue. Um, sometimes your lymph nodes will get infected, and that fucking sucks, let me tell you. And then you have stage three. Stage three is terrible. Like, usually people that have stage 3 just have open, just flesh, just, you can just see inside of their bodies. And it's incredibly painful, it's debilitating, a lot of people just can't do anything. They can't work, they can't go to school, it just puts a halt on your life. And a lot of people that have stage 3 end up needing to get surgery. I'm currently at stage 2, um, I'm towing the line at stage 3. 
trying not to get there. I went to a dermatologist who specializes in immunology and she gave me steroid shots which helped tremendously. It brought down a lot of the inflammation and um, the scar tissue has subsided a good bit. Um, and I don't have a whole bunch of drainage. It's awesome. It's great, really. And I, look at this. I mean, I put a video about it already, but look at this shit. Like, I can, I, I couldn't do that like two months ago. I couldn't do that a month ago. I couldn't do that like four weeks ago. It's, it's crazy. It's awesome. And I, mm, it's just changed my life a lot. Um, because, I mean, it definitely does affect the quality of life. So if you know anyone that has HS or that might have HS, if you yourself have boils that are reoccurring in any place in your body, go ahead and get it checked out. It's better to err on the side of caution and get them checked out. Not only because you might have HS or some other immune disorder, but because you might have an infection. You might have staph. And so get checked. Just go ahead and do it. Just err on the side of caution. Get checked. Raise awareness, because that's the way that, you know, diseases get stomped out, is raising awareness, letting people know the way that their body works, the way that, like, things trigger your disorders, and all that stuff. So, blah.